This is the Pet Paracle Skate. Check it out. Hi, I'm Holly Schultz from BabyGizmo.com. This is the Peg Perigo Skate 2010. Now, Peg Perigo really listened to Baby Gizmo. I mean, the customers. And they changed the skate up quite a bit to make it even better. Now, we're going to go through the major changes first. Then we're going to show you the skate as a whole. Now, the biggest improvement was the seat and the bassinet are now two separate pieces. They changed the handlebar. They changed the harness. They changed the wheels. They even changed the basket. So they changed a lot. Let's take a look at it. Now let's start with the seat. The seat is wide and roomy. It is 14 inches wide. It has a 21 inch seat back and it's 26 inches from the back of the seat all the way to the top of the canopy. Our one year old tester fits in it perfectly. Our three year old tester fits in it perfectly. Even our five and a half year old tester fits in it. Now her head brushes the canopy, but she's five and a half. She normally walks and she's exceeded the weight limit. The weight limit for the seat is 40 pounds. Now the, the harness, they have changed the harness and we applaud Peg Perigo for this. No more freedom of, har of movement harness. That harness was a nightmare because it gave our children too much freedom. Our children don't need any more freedom. Now it is a secure five-point harness that is going to lock your child into the seat. And the buckle is not actually that easy to do, so our three-and-a-half-year-old tester can't figure it out yet. So we love that. It has this non-adjustable footrest so your child can be comfortable in the seat and set their feet. It has this removable baby bumper bar. Now this is a swing away baby bumper bar so that you can allow your child to get in and out like that or you can remove it all the way like that. The seat has a great recline and it's a one-handed recline. Just pull up on this lever on the back and that's going to allow, well, if your handlebar is in the right position, it's going to allow the seat to go all the way back here. This is what we call a flat recline. As you can see, the seat kept its shape, so your child's legs are going to be a little bit higher, but that is your fully reclined seat. And it goes all the way up to there. Now the seat is reversible as well. As you can see, we already have it reversed, so the seat is facing mom. Now you can reverse it very easily. Push these two gray buttons right where the canopy goes in. Push those in, lift the seat up, and that's going to um, allow you to reverse the seat so that your child can look out at the world. Just make sure it's back in and put it up right. And what's great about the skate, and it's the same, it's the same as the original skate, and we absolutely love this feature, is that you can slide the seat up and down the frame so that the child can be, this is the tallest position, so the child can be a little bit closer to mom all the way down to here, which is going to give it, you can push it up to a table, so like an impromptu high chair in a restaurant. So this is a great feature. There's three positions that you can actually put the seat in if you would like. Let's talk canopy. Now the canopy doesn't look that large, but what Peg did is there is a zipper here that if you unzip the canopy, that's going to give it even more protection. And what is new for 2010 is this large mesh window. I'd like to call it a peek of a window, but you can do a lot more than peeking in this one because you can see your whole child through this mesh window. Plus, it's going to allow air to circulate through the stroller to keep your child cool in the summer. If you want it covered, just set this cover right back over it. And in the winter, that's going to protect them from the elements. So this is a great option, and it absolutely gives your child enough coverage from the sun. And if you don't need that much coverage, put it back zip it up and this gives it a more tailored look so it's not so sloppy when you know you want it back just a little bit and also the, the set comes with one canopy this canopy if you decide to use the bassinet you're going to take it off and put it on the bassinet so there's not two canopies which is not a big deal there's also as you can see in the front there's a zipper this is where your rain cover zips into your canopy to give your child enough coverage from the rain now let's talk about the handlebar the handlebar it's been modified for 2010 now this is one feature we're not crazy about but one thing they did with 2010 is they made the stroller lighter, a lot lighter. We weighed it and it's only 28 pounds. That is significantly lighter than the original skate. But in order to make it lighter, they did have to sacrifice on a couple features. The handlebar being one of them. Now the handlebar, it's still adjustable. As you can see, it goes up and down. There's actually eight positions you can stop it in. The only thing they took away is it doesn't telescope out like it used to. We kind of wish it did because our taller parent friends, they need a little bit more, you know, clearance from the stroller but this it's, it's a really nice handlebar and you have to be super tall to even come in contact with the stroller so we still like the handlebar well there's no parent tray on the skate there is a handy cup holder which is great for mom on the side now the basket underneath this is another change they had this they have added the foldable shopping basket which is great the problem is people complain they didn't understand the net with the bungee cords now it's still there and I can still fit my large diaper bag under here and I could secure it with the bungee cords if I want. So it's still a roomy basket. It's just the parents, they just didn't understand for loose essentials how you would 
attach it with these this, these bungee cards. So they gave us a foldable shopping basket. And that's, when I say foldable, it's quick and easy to do. So I can keep it in that position when I'm not using it. But if I want to put in a whole bunch of baby essentials, or I could even take this shopping when, you know, if I'm going downtown and I want to put some essentials in there, it fits in perfectly. I take my contents out and I can take it inside with me. So this is a great addition to the Skate 2010. Now another change for 2010 is the wheels. They are no longer air-filled tires, so there's no tire pump needed, but it's still going to tackle all-terrain very well. These are 10 and a half inch rear wheels, and these are six and a half inch swivel wheels. Now these swivel wheels give great maneuverability, but they also can be locked straight. Not that way. That way. <laughs> you can also lock them straight if you step down on this button. You have to lock them individually, and that's going to be better for all terrain. Now, this button up here, that's for wheel removal. All you have to do is turn it, and that's going to allow the wheel to pop right off for a more compact fold. There's a one-touch brake bar at the back. All you have to do is step down. That's going to lock the stroller into place. Lift up with your foot, and that's going to let it go free. Now the maneuverability on the skate, it's still awesome. It is so easy to push. It pretty much glides along by itself. And it has this gripper in the hand, in the middle of the handlebar to allow it for easier one-handed maneuverability. Even fully loaded, I was able to push this on smooth pavement one-handed with no problem. Now if I'm going on all terrain, I lock those front wheels and I'm able to charge through quite a bit of stuff. Even with those small tires, I can get over cobblestone street, I can get over grass, even playground mulch. So they are great tires and the skate, it is superb maneuverability. Now let's talk a little bit about this fabulous bassinet that's included with your Skate 2010. Now, you want to take off your canopy, off your toddler seat, because you're going to need it for your bassinet. Take it off, snaps on the back, and snap now, your this, canopy in. And what's great is this mesh window. You can still open that up to have air circulate through your bassinet as well. Now, this bassinet, it's beautiful. It is large, it is roomy, it's going to accommodate your child probably up to six months. This foot muff comes with the stroller and fits the bassinet as well as the stroller seat and they modified it a little bit. It used to stick with magnets. Well, it wasn't very practical and people complained, so now they made it snap so it really stays in the place. Now putting it on the frame, very easy. Just take off your toddler seat and put your bassinet on. Pet Perigo also sells a bassinet stand, so in case you want to use your bassinet inside, it'll do double duty that way. And this is going to turn your chassis into a pram, which we love. And you still have the ability to move the bassinet up the frame if you would like, just like you do the toddler seat. So this is the bassinet on the skate frame. Another great feature of the bassinet is that the backrest actually has a, sh a small incline that you can do for your baby. It's going to raise your baby's head just a bit. There's a strap on the back of the bassinet. You're going to pull it and there's three different positions that you can put it in. So it's really great if your baby has a cold and you want them in an incline or maybe they have reflux. This is going to allow your baby to sit upright a little bit. The jumper seat is Peg Perigo's newest accessory that is going to turn your skate, whether it's the 2010 or the older model, into a double. Folding skate, very easy to do. All you have to do is, I put the seat rear facing, you have to put it in certain positions. This is one of the positions. Recline the seat all the way. Now there's a safety lever that's going to let you recline it even more like that. That's going to be the recline for the fold mode. Now there's two levers on either side here. Pull up on those levers, step down on your fold step, and it folds down like that. And what I love is that it has an automatic lock. They changed that for 2010, there's, so there's nothing extra for me to do, which I love. Very easy to do, just find that automatic lock. Unlock it, step on the back of the frame, take your seat, put it back into the proper position, and you're ready to go. Now we absolutely love almost all the improvements for the Skate 2010. We love the fact that the seat's still reversible. We like that it's two pieces because when we don't need the bassinet, we like this toddler seat. We're not crazy about the fact that the, the, the handlebar doesn't telescope out, but we'll overlook that because we love that it's lighter. It's only 28 pounds, which is way lighter than it was before. We like that shopping basket underneath that can be used on the go, and we like this new accessory, the jumper seat. It is too fun and a great way to use it as an occasional double stroller. Again, we wouldn't use it as a full-time double, but it's great for the occasional rider. And this is the review of the Peg Perigo Skate 2010 by Holly Schultz of babygizmo.com. That was the skate. Bye! For the most up-to-date news and reviews, check out my blog at ratedbymom.com.